Some say that you are what you eat, but is that really true? Suppose you live in a city. You are lying on the sofa with some friends watching TV and you are hungry. You'll have to choose a hamburger or salad, fizzy drink or glass of water, apple or a biscuit. I bet there are times when you had the hamburger, fizzy drink and biscuit. Not a problem if you only make these unhealthy choices once in a while, but a big problem if it's nearly every day. Obesity is a major health hazard and is associated with a long list of diseases, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes and certain types of cancer. Obese children are likely to be obese into adulthood and obese adults are about six times more likely to develop type 2 diabetes. Obesity is commonly defined using the Body Mass Index, BMI, a simple measure that is calculated by dividing a person's weight in kilograms by the square of their height in meters. A person with a BMI of 30 kilograms per meter squared or more is classed as obese. But BMI does not always tell us enough about body fat. Doctors may also look at how much fat there is around the middle of the body by measuring the waist to hip ratio. Some people tend to put on weight around the middle of their body. This has been linked to a higher risk of future health problems. Worldwide obesity has more than tripled since 1975. According to the World Health Organization, data of 2016, more than 1.9 billion adults age 18 and older were overweight. Of these, over 650 million people were obese. More than 41 million children under the age of 5 were overweight in 2016. Obesity is preventable, says the WHO. So why are millions of people obese? Many different factors play a role in causing this disease. What you eat and how much exercise you do may have a significant impact on your weight. But this is not the full story. Obesity tends to run in families. This indicates a genetic link, but it is difficult to know if a family is sharing obesity genes or just sharing similar patterns of unhealthy behavior. Luckily, twin studies have helped to solve this problem. Identical twins share the same genes, but non-identical twins don't. Genes are regions of our DNA that regulate how our bodies capture, store and release energy from food. Researchers have found that identical twins are more likely than non-identical twins to have similar BMI and waist measurements. This evidence suggests a significant genetic component to obesity. Obesity genes also control our eating behaviors and how much satisfaction we get from food. We all have chemical marks in our DNA that can switch genes on and off without changing the DNA sequence. Epigenetics is an emerging area of science that is uncovering the links between these chemical switches, our genes and the environment they function in. This research is providing exciting insights into the causes of obesity. A number of environmental triggers such as diet, stress and exposure to drugs and toxins lead to epigenetic changes. Recent studies have shown that a woman's diet during pregnancy can change how a child's DNA functions and may increase their risk of obesity later in life. Scientists and doctors hope that a better understanding of how our body regulates our energy balance and eating patterns will lead to improved treatment approaches and drug therapies in the future. If you eat a balanced diet and exercise regularly, you are less likely to become overweight. But it isn't always easy to make healthy lifestyle choices. There has been a dramatic increase in the production of cheap, high-energy food that can be transported to our homes and around the world. Our daily lives involve fewer opportunities for physical activity than in the past, and we are constantly exposed to marketing, advertising, and other pressures to buy calorie-rich foods. These factors are thought to underlie the rapid increase in obesity rates worldwide. 65% of the world's population live in countries where overweight and obesity kills more people than underweight.